Can we ask you questions on the home one? Yep, that's just what I was going to ask you. Yeah. No questions? Yeah. Cool. What, what, where, what do you have questions on? Uh, four. On 46. Look at your answer choices. What do you notice about your answer choices? They're fairly spread out, right? They're not totally spread out, but they're fairly spread out. What else do you notice here? There's something you should notice about these numbers, like we should be like, oh man, it's so close to making this problem really easy. What do I mean by that? If you could change something just slightly to make this problem way easier, what would you change? What if it were just 70 seconds? Right? That's a lot easier. Right? That two seconds, how big of a deal is that going to be? Eh. 16 steps in 10 seconds, two seconds, maybe two or three steps. I don't know. It's not going to be much, right? And the difference between the amounts and the answers are much greater than three. Does that make sense? And that's when you can look through. So I would have just done the multiplication, but I can usually do it fairly quickly. If you don't want to do it and you feel like it's going to take you too long, that would be the alternative way to do it. Would be, oh, if that's 72 or just 70. So, and when you do these kind of things, when you like change things a little bit, keep in mind how you change it, how that's going to affect it. Oh, it's going to be slightly greater than whatever I just came up with. You should also remember, like, oh, it's going to be slightly more, slightly less. And you should also have some sense of scale, right? If I take two off, is that going to make a major impact? No, not really. So now you've got 16 and 7, right? I would just do it like this. Um, 42, 7, 11, 112. There you go. That's, that's the, the quick way of doing it. But again, there's always like, you know, three, two or three ways to do these problems. Do you have other, other questions? Or is that? Uh, yeah, there was uh, number 12. Number 12? Pretty much the same thing. I mean, I want to avoid the multiplication like that. Yeah. So, right. Okay. If a sir, if a certain company purchases computer total terminals for a total of five hundred forty thousand dollars, five hundred forty thousand four hundred dollars, and each of the terminals was purchased for three fifty, how many terminals did the company purchase? So one option here is you could go through this. So first off, what's the first thought that should pop into all your guys? Don't really want to do that. Yeah. Ah, right? I don't, I don't want to do that math. Second, look at your answers. Ah, what do you notice about your answers? They're all in four. They're what? They're all in four. They do all end in four? They're descending from six. Yeah. Like They're only four in four. Really. They're all about a hundred apart. Mm -hmm. Whenever you, this is definitely going to be some sort of a rounding problem. That should be right off the bat. What do you think we should round that first giant number, 540,400 to? 540,000. Yeah. That's 540,000. Let's just say that's 540,000, right? What do you want to do with that 350? We round it down to 300 and we just go in even. So we could round down to 300, but that also seems to me like you might have scaling issues there because 50 is a fair amount of 350. I don't want to do that. I'm going to show you guys another trick, the, the way that I always do these problems. If you ever have numbers like um, 150, 15, 1.5, 35, anything like that, multiply by 2 because then it's going to be a nice round number, right? You multiply by 2 and you get 700, right? So now we're dealing with, and again, it's whenever you get those numbers, that, are, that you're going to have trouble dealing with, it's fine to create a multiple of them, just remember that you did that, right? Well, now all you need to figure out is this. Right? The problem just got a heck of a lot easier. And you'll notice if you look at it like this, right? You'll notice that the answers would look like that. Does that make sense? Just lose all that stuff on the end because you're not going to need it. Because these are spread out enough, you're not going to need it. Right? How many times does 7 go into 54? Seven. What? Seven. 7. Yeah. 
like, you know, seven and some chain. In five sevenths, is that what you said? Cool. Seven and five sevenths, right? You guys are going to have um, memorize fractions, so you will be able to deal with that. But as of right now, why isn't that in our answers? Because you multiply it by two. Yes. So it's going to be uh, a little bit. It's going to be the 16. So you think it's going to be 16? Mm -hmm. Actually, 15. Yeah, it's it's going to be 15, because this is approximately 7.5 and, and change, right? You guys all know the symbol, by the way, the approximately equal to, okay. Um, again, if I ever put something funky up there, like, what are you doing? Um, let me know. Yeah, it's about seven, seven and a half, 15. And it's a little bit more than seven and a half, but this is a little bit more than 1,500, right? That's how I would do this problem. Definitely how I do this problem. And again, if you're paying attention, you should pick that out of the question. Like, oh my god, I can't do that math in the time that I have. How do I make it easier? Well. This is one thing you want to do to make it easier. The other thing is this trick of, of multiplying up to scale it so that you get a nice round number to work with. Um, and then the last thing is if you just have lots of zeros or something at the end, you can totally ignore them. 700, 540,000, who cares? It's 754, and then these are all going to be something like this. Wait, why would you multiply by 2 if you've already multiplied by 2? Would you divide? So this is two, two computers. And so what, oh, you would have okay. to buy seven and a half right, of okay. two computers, seven and a half sets of two computers, right, so which would be 15 computers. Yeah. And again, even if you forgot that, it should be obvious from the relationship here, which is why I was like, what's going on, right? Does that make sense? 